Hey, Shalom, Israel. This is GMS Arkansas. This is Stop and Listen. Preach your cow. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakah Kodash, Rakadah. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. You know, uh, we're just furthering this truth, man. In the time we in now, um, we have to uh, prepare our minds for what's to come, because a lot of rough times are coming, and and um, we're gonna be tested. But at the end of this test, uh, if we are part of that hopeful elect, it's gonna be the kingdom of heaven. You know. The uh, curses that you read in Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, are going to be lifted up. And pursuing the Deuteronomy 30 and 7, the curse is going to be put on our enemies, mainly Esau. And we're going to pick the blessings back up that you read in uh, Deuteronomy 28, 1 through like 14. That's what I want to uh, share with you right now. So this is Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it says, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations upon the earth. And as you can see in this picture, this, it looks like uh, this particular prince is set high, man. He has a staff. Right, he has his garments, he has a crown, he has palm trees, has a castle made of gold, and that's his man. Fresh streaming water running through the yard, you know, birds praising you about Shimmy Al Shai, man. You know, this is the kingdom, man. This is what we look for, this is what we hope for. You know, it says we hearken diligently unto this law and to the prophets, man. He gonna put us above all nations, like like um, the time of David and Solomon. It's twenty-eight and two. Deuteronomy twenty-eight and two, and all these blessings shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. Right, they're gonna come up on you from Yahweh of heaven. And if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power. Right, if you the obedience of the law is is the condition of of the coming in of these uh, blessings, man, and the continuance of these blessings. Verse three: Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Not only Jerusalem gonna be blessed, but wherever we are living at, no matter if it's, we living in, in the rural areas, out of town, or in the cities, we're gonna be blessed, man. Our crops are gonna be blessed. We're gonna be going back to be husband, man, husband. Husband Mary, husbandry, like it, <laughs> tongue twister. Gonna be farmers basically, man. So it's gonna go back to that, man. You know, it's getting ready to go right back to that. You know, it says, "Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy ca cattle." The increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. So we're gonna have we're gonna have children. Our children are going to be multiplied. They're gonna increase. They're gonna have children. We're gonna have generations upon generations. We're gonna our cattle. Our cattle is gonna multiply. Right. We're gonna have lots and lots of cattle, man. Uh, you can read that in Job, the first chapter, when it talks about how how much Job had, man. You know, uh, let's see if I can get that right quick. Job, uh, Job one, Job one, and I started two. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters, right? The scripture said we're going, we're going. Uh, it says 
blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. So he had 10, 10 kids, man. You know, it says his substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camel and 500 yokes of oxen and 500 she asses and a very great household so that that man was the greatest of all of the men in the east man and we're going to be great men again the lord is going to going to going to make us to be the ones to be looked upon man uh back in deuteronomy 28 and 5 it says blessed shall thy be thy basket and thy store so we're going to always have a sufficient amount of uh of uh food drink you know our storehouses our barns and our cellars going to be going to be filled with 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 food for future man it says blessed shall thy be when thou comest in and blessed shall thy be when thou goest out so whatever journey we going out on or coming in on we're going to be blessed example we go out to war guess what it's going to be successful man you know, it's gonna be successful in all in all employment and business that we do, whether it be indoors or without, it's gonna it's gonna be a success. Man. Verse seven, the Lord Yahweh shall cause thine enemies to raise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. Con, he gonna he gonna our enemies being who, Edomites, Moabites, Ammonites, Philistines, you know, the Syrians. He gon' he shall it says they shall come out against thee one way, meaning they're gonna march out, right? In one body and large the battle and flee before these seven ways, man. The Lord gonna disperse them. Because we're gonna have that power, man. You know? It says the Lord Yahweh shall command. It says the Lord Yahweh shall command. Read that again. It says, the Lord Yahweh shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouse and in all thy settest thy hand unto. He shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee. Right? So we always going to have health. We're going to have long life. It says, command the blessings in the storehouses. We're going to always have corn, wine, and oil. We're going to always have that laid up, man. You know, anything we put our hand to, manufacture, whether it be manufacturing, whatever occupation, whatever trade we're we, we going to do in the kingdom, it's going to prosper, man. And the Lord Yahweh shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. He separated, he separated us from the others, man, for his service and his honor and his glory. You know, and it says, and he shall, he have sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the, thy Lord, thy power, and walk in his ways, right? The same way he did with our fathers when you read in uh, Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. Verse 10, and all the people of the earth shall be, shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord Yahweh, and they shall be afraid of thee. So they're going to know that we'll call his children. His people, his portion, they're going to know that we are his inheritance, right? And it says, all people shall be afraid of thee, man. Uh, when you go back to Deuteronomy, it tells you that in Deuteronomy uh, 11, 11 and uh, 25, let me get that, Deuteronomy 11. And 25. Deuteronomy 11 and 25. There shall no man be able to stand before you, for your Yahweh your power shall lay the fear of you and the tread of you upon all the land that ye shall tread upon as he have said unto you. So they're going to be afraid of us, man. The Lord going to put that spirit on us, man. He going to put a spirit on us where everybody's going to fear. 
and it says, verse 11, And the Lord Yahweh shall make thee plent plentous of goods in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, and in the land. He's going to increase, right? So we basically going to be rich. In the land which Yahweh swore, swore unto thy fathers to give thee, that land which is Israel, which is called Canaan at the time. So we basically going to be rich, man. We're going to be rich since, man. We're going to have the real riches, man. We're going to have this FRN rich. We're going to be substance rich, man. You know, in the kingdom, man. Verse 12. The Lord Yahweh shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven. Right? And it tells you in Job 38, the good treasure of snow, hail, and wind. But this particular good treasure right here is talking about, uh, uh, it says it. The heaven to give thee rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of thy hand and thou shalt lead unto many nations and and thou shalt not borrow so without the blessed rain all the labor of a of a, a, a husband is, is a very little purpose man because you need that rain so that way your will be won't be in uh, vain man you know Verse 13, and Yahweh shall make thee the head and not the tail, right? And the head means what? Governors, rulers, and the tail represents subjects, man. It says, and thou shall be above, be above only, and thou shall not be beneath. If thou, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy power, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them, right? So, the condition on which all this happiness depends on is us hearkening to these commandments, man. And it says, verse 14, And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee, this to the right hand or to the left, or to go after other gods to serve them. Don't depart from this law, man. Don't neglect or disobey it. You must practice the laws, the statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Right? And he says, uh, going to serve other gods, that's breaking the principle law, man. There's nothing that will uh, uh, is more abominable or provoking to Yahweh Bashim Shai for you to uh, go after other gods, man. This is what will anger him, and this is what angered him back in the day. Right, and he put us in captivity, going after whoring after those other gods, man. But when we get into the kingdom, we get into the kingdom of heaven, pursuing to uh, uh, I read this one, Hebrews eight, Hebrews eight, and eight. For finding fault with them, he said. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, right? The northern and southern kingdom. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in that day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days saith Yahweh I will put my laws into their in mind and write them in their hearts and I will be them a power and they shall be to me my people so the laws are going to be in our inward parts and we're gonna, we won't be going off when we get to this stage that you're looking at in the kingdom man when we get those staffs in our hands and those crowns on our head we won't be going off no more we're going to live in righteousness man and we're going to rule over our, our enemies. And they're going to put subjection on us. And the scriptures say they're going to fear us. And we're going to have plenty of kids. We're going to have plenty of, of food. We're going to have plenty of water. We're going to have substance. We're going to be we're gonna be a, a rich man in substance, man. The kingdom of heaven. And it's coming soon. So, brothers, we just gear our mind to know that we have to, we're have going to be tested, headed towards this way, man. It's going to be a lot of tests put in front of us, man. Just keep your prayers up. Keep praying. Keep the faith. 
With that, all praises be to Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Brakatha, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kadash, Brakatha, double honors to the apostles, the elders, of GMS who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is GMS Arkansas. Stop and listen. Shalom.